Hi there, my name is Corey Gaddy, application engineer for TPM. For our four minute Friday today, we're going to talk about creating a pipe network part. There are often times where we're unhappy with the look of our pipe network structures. The process we're going to go through today will allow you to know how to create a pipe network structure from an existing block or a created block in a drawing. Okay, so let's get into the software. So as you can see here, I created this block in a drawing. Right now this block is just line work. So we've got a polyline around the outside. We've got a circle and a an hatch. Okay. So now I'm going to W block this line work out into its own drawing. Okay. All right, I'll save this W block. As you can see here, this W block window comes up. I'll rename it. Let's call it structure. Okay. And then it's going to allow us to pick the point where we want it to be the base point, and that I want that to be wherever I want this structure to be inserted. So I'll give it a center point here. Okay, that's where our point is. All right, we have our object selected already. I'll save it in my four minute Fridays folder. And then hit OK. We'll include the AutoCAD map information with the export. So now I can open up a new drawing, insert the new block. hit OK. So now I have the block in the new drawing. So now I can make a new part. I'll go to my tool space. I'll find an existing storm structure. Right click, copy. And that way I can keep all the aspects of that structure. I'll rename it. Okay. And then I'll just need to go into my plan view and select the block that I imported. So there is my new structure, block name and structure. I'll go ahead and hit apply and OK. And now I have a new style here in my tool space called Storm Sewer junction box. I'll save that into my template. And I can use that part going forward. Either that or I can go into my new drawing with master view selected. The new drawing open and the drawing open with the part in it. Go to the part style, click on the icon and drag it in to my new drawing. That's what I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching.